Good day everyone, hope you're doing really well. So today we just have a bit of a simple topic and that is how is my alt account progressing? So for those of you that don't know, I do run two accounts and my alt account is the one you can see on screen. So it says Kokomi's Jellyfish, you just want to name it that. But it's mostly like a an account that's aimed at being like low spender, like Welkin, uh, Moon and Battle Pass. And the entire point of the account is building the Kokomi Banner Team Comp. That is Rosaria, Beidou, Xingxu, and Kokomi. And this is just a bit of an update on the account. So I do these updates from time to time. So obviously Beidou looking a lot better than she did in the past, but she's still not where I want her to be. Ideally, I want like 60 crit rate and about 130-ish at least, 130 to 40 crit damage. Uh, it's the same for all the other characters as well. We still need to level up the characters and the weapons. So lots of room for improvement, especially on the artifacts, but how does this team actually work and what's kind of the point of the team? Well, the cool thing about this team is Rosaria, uh, once she sort of uses her E and her Q ability, wants to be off field. Uh, Beta wants to be off field after parrying and using her elemental burst. Uh, Xingxu wants to be off field after using his elemental burst, which means you only have Kokomi left. And what does Kokomi do? Well, in her elemental burst, she wants to be on field. So effectively, you can see what's happening. Rosaria is ticking, Beidou is ticking, Xingxu is ticking, Kokomi is ticking, and all of these little numbers um, very quickly add up to give you a very decent amount of DPS output. But the big thing about this team is the comfiness that it provides, because it doesn't matter if this uh, Prima Juve ship hits us, it doesn't matter if there's corrosion, a lot of things don't really matter, because this team is just it's just almost immortal. It's it's like impossible for this team to die, and that's because of the insane damage reduction from Beta and Xingxu stacking, and then you've got Kokomi, which is just like this Jaggernaut that has got a large HP pool, and any damage that you do do to her uh, is very easily healed. Like, with all the damage reduction, um, you don't need a very fancy Kokomi, you just need an, like a very average F2P Kokomi, and you can very comfortably heal out all the damage that the enemy does. And that's what I really like about this team. It is a team that fully encapsulates all of Kokomi's raw compression. You can attack the enemies at range. You can apply the consistent off-field hydro. You've got the uh, range, at, uh, like sort of the effect from Ocean Ute Clam set coming through. You've got Kokomi's large health pool coming through, her ability to tank, to deal damage. All of these things is really awesome and Kokomi is like sort of the central pillar of this team she's like she like brings the entire team together and enables them to do all of these things and that's what I really really love about it um you might say well you know Rosaria is a bit of the odd one out because she can't pass her crit rate to Kokomi and we don't want her to pass her crit rate to Kokomi that she's there to pass that to Beidou and to Xingxu but in essence Rosaria is there to trigger the superconduct on Ocean Heat Clamp set as well as freeze the enemies which gives us a lot of value and of course proccing the Favonius Lance which again just helps generate some energy for Beidou as well um, obviously Xingxu it does the same for Kokomi uh, this team is not the strongest so obviously Rider National and some of the other meta teams will definitely out damage it but if if it's if survivability ever became like important Genshin Impact this team would just win by a landslide uh, it is so comfy it is so easy to play uh, do I recommend it well if you are like an F2P Kokomi team and you don't really want to run Bennett and all the others, then yeah, definitely run this team. It is just such a treat to do and it can be quite a fun team to run. It's got like a very, very high skill ceiling, but it's also got a very low skill floor. In other words, for you to get value, you just need to, in essence, manage Kokomi and Xingxu. And once you've got that done, well, the team sort of plays itself. Um, it's that's like how cool it is it just automatically does a lot of things without you needing to worry too much about mechanics and that's what we love consistency and comfiness